Some of the UK's biggest care home companies should have their finances investigated by the competition's watchdog, says the former Health and Social Care Secretary, Jeremy Hunt. He was speaking to BBC's Panorama programme, which is investigating the care home industry. Here's our social affairs editor, Alison Holt. What was it like growing up round here? Lovely. Everybody knew everybody. Jeez. Tess grew up in Cannock in Staffordshire. Her mum died when she was young, so her dad Mick was at the heart of the family. It's more than a year since he died in a care home nearby, and she's been left with many questions about the care he received and the company that ran the home. Four days in, five days in, the cracks start to appear. His bed was never made. The toilet area was shocking. My dad's walking in that urine, so my dad shouldn't be walking in that. That home is run by Four Seasons Healthcare Group. It says the home's management team has since changed, but Tess wanted to know where the fees paid for her dad went. Four Seasons. Four Seasons, yeah. Panorama asked experts to draw up a family tree for the group. It was owned by private equity investors, but because of its high debts, in 2019, two key companies went into administration. It still has more than 160 companies in the group. I'm gobsmacked, to be honest with you. Four Seasons says its structure doesn't affect the care it provides and the homes continue to operate. But business experts say the complexity and use of offshore companies makes it difficult to work out where the money goes. It should surely be the case that these structures should be transparent. They should either bring them onshore or else they should be required to disclose the full finances of the entire group. It's as simple as that. The former Health and Social Care Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, says in a sector looking after vulnerable people, government reforms should include more checks on company finances. There's a real opportunity now to lay down a long-term plan for the sector and to channel private sector investment in the way we want. And that could be a very positive thing at the moment. It's the Wild West out there. The government says it's up to local authorities to ensure providers offer good care, improve staff conditions and invest in services. Alison Holt, BBC News.